Hi, my name is Dave. I want to show you what I bought on eBay for about $12. Really inexpensive little telescope. Um, I'm not sure if it's any good. It's called a Compact Refractor. JR Science Explorer, Junior Science Explorer. Anyway, uh, let's open it up and take a look. See if it's any good. A lot of stuff here for twelve dollars. Ooh, look at this deluxe twenty power eyepiece. This is what we call a star diagonal. Looks like it's a mirror. I'm sure it's not top quality. I'll check the optics on this too. Here are a couple of other eyepieces. Here's a forty power and a thirty power eyepiece. Let's see if this thing is any good. There's how you focus it. The mount, it actually does work. <laughs> it's pretty, <laughs> pretty flimsy, I gotta tell you. Woo! Well, for a little kid to have something like this, I don't know. It's not that bad, and it at least does warn you not to look at the sun with it, so that's good as long as your four or five year old can read and is pretty fluent. Uh, you'll be okay. I don't know what the aperture of this is. It says 30 millimeters. Might be 30 millimeters. I think I'll check the optics. Let me try the optics and see if it performs at all. Well, I just took a look at the optics. It's uh, not a great telescope, but it's not bad. And certainly, it's astounding to me that you can buy something like this for that low a price. It's really not that bad. And to tell you the truth, a lot of parents would probably spend a whole lot more and not get a better telescope than this. It, it's not a great telescope. I can't recommend the telescope. But by the same token, for the price, it's a heck of a good buy. It's a lot of telescope for the money. Hi, let me show you what I just bought on eBay. Um, and this is, this only cost me about $40. Yeah, okay, this telescope all put together now. Let me show you some of the features. The mount works like so. There's a friction control back here for the mount. Um, if these feet are flat towards the surface, that helps, but it's still pretty wobbly. It's a wobbly little double. That's not good for a telescope. Um, if you want to align it, the way you align it, you slide this thing back and forth. Now, you can just imagine a kid playing with that. A kid will put it all over the place once they discover that. Uh, <laughs> it needs to be kind of precisely aligned to get a decent image anyway. Um, so that's probably a deficiency. A kid is going to put their fingers all over this mirror and probably all over that mirror the minute they get their hands on it. This is provided, you know, it's got a little rubberized cover thing here, which will disappear immediately. That'll go into the doggy dish, I'm sure, or toilet. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> there's some real deficiencies to this telescope. Uh, however, the optics are surprisingly good. Not bad at all. The eyepieces, these are real cheap eyepieces. Uh, and they're hard to use because of that. But by the same token, they work okay. They're not bad. This is actually a pretty... And, and for $40, I mean, how could you possibly complain? It's so darn cute. This is called the Celestron First Scope. Uh, this mount is uh, called a Dobsonian mount. 
And uh, there are many reasons why this is a really popular mount. It's very uh, effective, very easy to use, very well balanced. And that's one of the high points of this telescope. The telescope is very, very inexpensive. Uh, you, you can buy this online for about 40 bucks new. So it's very, very inexpensive. And yet it's a pretty useful telescope. It's got uh, 300 millimeters focal length, about 76 millimeters aperture. It comes with a couple of eyepieces, uh, a low power and a medium power. And it's, uh, it doesn't have a finder scope here, which is not a large detriment to it. They do offer a finder scope package for this telescope. Looks something like this, and it goes right on there. And it's got a couple of additional eyepieces. Well, this telescope costs about $40. The finder scope package with the finder scope and a couple of more eyepieces costs about $20. That's half the cost of the telescope. I would not recommend spending that money. This is a, a pretty useful little telescope. The reviews on this are quite positive. And I agree with them that uh, the telescope works quite well for the money. I mean, it's not a great telescope, but it's okay. Instead of using uh, buying that expensive finder scope, you can sight along the edge of the tube like so and find what you need. This telescope really isn't usable with high powers anyway, so you don't need to invest in those extra eyepieces. That's kind of a waste of money. So I would say... Uh, here's how you adjust the tension, by the way. You can adjust the tension and make it a little stiffer, a little looser. There's the focuser, like so. Here's how you change an eyepiece. Put it in, take it out. So, um, it's a pretty decent little telescope. Certainly, for the money, you're not going to be able to beat this telescope. If you wanted to get one with a finder, there are a couple of ways you can do that. First of all, here's the, uh, this is called an Orion Easy Finder. It's a red dot finder. And most of the telescope manufacturers make a red dot finder. You look through there and there's a little red dot up in the sky. It's much better, it's actually a much better finder than this finder anyway. These finders uh, are not great. So this finder is actually what I would recommend. But if you want to buy this finder, and add it to this scope, this finder will run you at least $20, maybe more. You can, however, buy the Orion telescope, the, the Orion version of this scope, which is called a fun scope. Here's a picture. If you buy the fun scope, you, it comes with a red dot finder. It costs a little bit more, but it's a better package deal uh, because it's got the finder. Or uh, also the Mi Light Bridge. Which is another good option for you. And a little bit more maybe, I'm not sure. It uh, depends. You shop around a little bit. Let's compare this scope with the Celestron first scope. Anyway, this scope, um, boy oh boy, especially for kids, but even for adults, these are almost the same price. These are about $40. The way this one stands is $40. This one's about $40. Uh, this telescope really can't stand up to this telescope. This telescope, the mount is so much better. It's nice and stable. And smooth and easy to use, very nice. The optics are essentially identical. Assume that they're both uh, the same kind of optical performance and so forth. The eyepieces might be a little bit better here, but that's not such a big deal. 
The main thing is the mount. The mount on this is so much more usable. This shakes all over the place, and especially for kids. They're going to put fingerprints all over it. They're going to mess it up. This is going to end up in the dumpster pretty darn soon. Um, this one, probably with any luck at all, will hang around for a while. Uh, if there's any interest at all on the part of the kid, this one will tend to stimulate it rather than destroy it. So anyhow, my opinion is that this telescope is nowhere near as good. It's funny, it's quirky, it's strange, it's cute as a bug, but this is the one to buy if you're going to buy a telescope.